Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited German Chancellor Olaf Scholz on Friday as part of a whistle-stop tour of Europe meant to win backing for his victory plan aimed at ending the war with Russia. Zelensky joined a news conference with Scholz as he received a pledge of a new weapons package. Scholz emphasized Berlin's continued focus on helping Kiev with air defense. He said that, by the end of the year, it will deliver another package of military support worth 1.4 billion euros, with support from Belgium, Denmark and Norway including further air defense systems, self-propelled Jeopard anti-aircraft guns, tanks, armored vehicles and radars. Zelensky had arrived in Berlin after stops on Thursday in London, Paris and Rome on a tour arranged after a planned summit Saturday with US President Joe Biden and other Allied leaders was derailed by Hurricane Milton. This year's German budget foresees nearly 7.5 billion euros in military aid for Ukraine, while next year's plan is for 4 billion euros. Berlin hopes a $50 billion international loan package funded by interest on profits from frozen Russian assets will play a growing role in financing aid starting next year, with Kiev procuring weapons directly. Bis zum Jahresende werden wir außerdem mit Unterstützung unserer Partner Belgien und Dänemark und Norwegen ein weiteres militärisches Unterstützungspaket im Wert von rund 1,4 Milliarden an die Ukraine liefern. Daran enthalten sind unter anderem weitere Luftverteidigungssysteme vom Typ RST und Skynex, Flakpanzer, Gepard, Panzer- und Radhaubitzen, Kampfpanzer, geschützte Fahrzeuge, Kampfdrohnen, Radare und Artilleriemunition. Deutschland ist der stärkste militärische Unterstützer der Ukraine in Europa, der zweitstärkste in der Welt. Und dabei wird es bleiben, das kann ich dir heute und hier klar versichern. Erstens, die Ukraine kann sich auf uns verlassen. Zweitens ist es eine klare Botschaft an Putin. Ein Spiel auf Zeit wird nicht funktionieren. Wir werden in unserer Unterstützung für die Ukraine nicht nachlassen. Diese Entschlossenheit, diese Festigkeit ist dann auch die Grundlage, auf der wir gemeinsam alle Möglichkeiten für Wege hin zu einem gerechten und dauerhaften Frieden für die Ukraine ausloten. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky arrived at 10 Downing Street in London on Thursday for talks with the leaders of Britain and NATO on his victory plan for the war against Russia. Zelensky is meeting Prime Minister Keir Starmer and NATO Secretary General Mark Ruta before traveling to Paris for talks with President Emmanuel Macron. Zelensky says he will also meet the leaders of Germany and Italy this week to discuss the plan. He had been due to present his blueprint at a weekend meeting of Western leaders and defense ministers in Germany, but it has been postponed because US President Joe Biden said he had to stay home to respond to Hurricane Milton's landfall in Florida. Zelensky said Wednesday he hoped the meeting could be rescheduled soon. The details of Zelensky's plan have been kept quiet but contours have emerged including the need for fast action on decisions Western allies have been mulling since the full-scale invasion began in 2022. Kyiv is still awaiting word from Western partners on its repeated requests to use the long-range weapons they provide to hit targets deep inside Russia. While some, including the UK, are thought to be willing, Biden has held back out of concern it could escalate the conflict. Ukraine's leader last visited London in July, soon after Starmer's Labour Party government was elected, when he addressed a meeting of the British cabinet. 
Starmer spokesman, Dave Pears, said Thursday's meeting would involve broad strategic discussions on UK and allied support for Ukraine during a crucial period, rather than specific decisions. Very good to welcome you again Thanks. back here. Very important we're able to show our continued commitment and support for Ukraine in this such important fight for you and for all of us as well. So very good to welcome you back to go through plans to talk in more detail about the work we can do together. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Thank you for having us. Uh, me and my team, thanks to UK people, people of your great country. For your strengthening us from the very beginning of the war. And today, I want, of course, to share with you details of the victory plan. Yeah. We are very count on you. Thank you. Okay. You take your ticket. Yeah. 